In 2017, the Nigerian box office recorded its highest income ever from a single movie, The Wedding Party 2, with rake-ins of about 500 million naira, the first Wedding Party movie from 2016, and Ayo Makon's A Trip to Jamaica, also from 2016, and a couple of other movies also recorded very impressive box office outings. But these are just a few compared to the thousands of movies released annually within Nollywood. According to veteran broadcaster and Nollywood actress Mabel Obo, who was more active during the formative years of Nollywood, the industry is barely scratching the surface of its economic potential. The victim's actress insists that although the industry is heavily glamorous, practitioners are still extremely underpaid. Well, um, I would say the entertainment industry, you know, it's not really that old. And the entertainment industry in Nigeria is not something that really people are taking seriously, have taken seriously. Uh, there is no money in it. I've been into entertainment, you know, for over 30 years. You know, there's no money in the industry and a lot of people in it, they do it for the love of it. Yes, there's a lot of glamour and what have you, but financially it's not there. The time would come. The entertainment industry is growing. If you take it from the 80s, during the time I did Victims and other programs, till now, you would see that it has grown an awful lot. You know, people are even beginning to see trickle of, you know, um, income. So the ones that are celebrated now are celebrated, and the other talented ones, they just make ends meet. The time will come when the entertainment industry will eventually be the way it is in the Western world. But for now, there is a problem. Unfortunately, a lot of people see the glamour and the thing that we're doing very well, we're not. And that's why you see the likes of some local died a useless death, I call it, Enebeli, Mona Ibiquid, and the other actors, and so on. And they're in abject poverty, you know, and the thing is they can't actually come out to beg to say this is what is wrong with us because of the glamour, you know, surrounding them. Us in the industry, we know ourselves, we know what we are going through. The Nigerian movie scene now is extremely dominated by romantic comedies, a sharp contrast from what was obtained back in the 80s when filmmakers focused more on embedding life lessons in their movies. Obo, whose movie Victims from the 80s scored an impressive critical review for its social conscious message. However, she believes that the industry would soon get out of this romantic comedy phase and be more accommodating to movies from other genres. No, I'm not disappointed at all. You know, the industry at the moment is going through a phase. You know, I think um, the public and everybody else that's even getting into the industry, they're even being critical. I think they should be patient with, you know, producers and directors. Because if I take it back from the time of victims and I'm still standing here to see what they are doing in the industry, I think we are improving. You know, they will get better. And, you know, that's why if entertainment is made as a legible um, business, um, the parents are proud to send their kids to school to, you know, to train. We will get more ideas. We'll get more intelligent people, you know, in the industry, and then it will be a money-making spin. I think now the wishy-washy is still because, you know, there's not a lot of professionals still there, but they are trying. They're doing their best.